Now, it's been 15 years since Colombia last competed in the World Cup. It's no wonder football fever is gripping that country, and that enthusiasm is translating into major profits for Colombian entrepreneurs. Michelle Begay reports. A 72-page, 639 sticker album is all the rage in Colombia as soccer fans try to collect and learn all the players and teams that are part of this 2014 World Cup. The Panini Group, based in Modena, Italy, produces the popular World Cup album every four years, and Colombian businessman Abelardo Londoño looks forward to the money-making machine of selling this product. I paid for this house four years ago from the profits. This time I got a really good sum of money, and so I invested in stock for my store on the second floor. So now I have more than $150,000 worth of stock, thanks to Panini. The album costs two U.S. dollars. A box of 500 stickers is $60, and each envelope of five stickers costs 60 cents. But on the streets, you can buy the individual stickers from street vendors who have opened up many envelopes. There are claims that some players like Lionel Messi, Ronaldo and Radamel Falcao are harder to find. So sellers drive up the price. This is where Mr. Londoño says he can make the most profit. The most difficult ones I hide and I say, I don't have it, making them seem scarce. And then people come and say, I'll give you anything for that sticker. I need to fill my album. So I sell it to them for $7 or up to $11 each. This year, Colombia is seeing a boom in sticker fever. Mr. Londoño claims he made more than 23,000 U.S. dollars in sales on the first day. Continente S.A., the company responsible for distribution in Colombia, authorized more than 25,000 sales points and estimated 1.4 million citizens have purchased the albums. Colombian distributors say the demand was so high, they quickly ran out of supplies. What we expect to sell in four months, which is usually how long the panini fever lasts, we sold in one month. This is why we had so many moments of scarce product, because we had to ask Brazil for more. It's been 16 years since Colombians have gone to this tournament, and prospects of getting far in the competition make everything and anything having to do with the championship very popular. The World Cup here in Colombia doesn't just end with this sticker album. Colombia received the third greatest number of tickets allocated for this 2014 Cup, only to be surpassed by Brazil and the United States. Michelle Vega, CCTV, Bogota, Colombia.